Okay, everyone, so the first dwarf has a playtest right now. I'm just gonna try that out. This is crazy, though. I've got the music volume, like, almost off. Every The sound is kind of strange. So I'm gonna apply that. Voices volume is probably gonna be massive. I haven't played this yet, but it's kind of like a, a base builder and a lot of automated facilities. Basically, we crash land. It's kind of choppy, too. I don't know, the game looks pretty oh. interesting, though. Thank heavens you're still breathing. What was that storm? It wasn't natural, for sure. But next time, maybe work on your landing technique. And it's gonna be like, I think it's kind of like tower defense as well. So there's our mech unit. Yeah, and this says it's work in progress. Does not represent the final look of the game. Yeah, it's just a play test, so there's... Uh, not a time for making judgment or anything. Now, let's see what's left of the airship. It's gonna be a lot of harvesting and things like that. I'll pick up the hammer. I'm gonna need that. Oh, my hammer. Good thing it didn't fall far. Looks like a power source. Okay, so we probably have just about everything. Missing 500 components. There's a broken engine. Pick up parts from the destroyed airship. I think that's pretty much it. What did this say? It's called the Raven. Well, let's go back here and we'll try getting into the mech suit, see if we can fix that. Just Hold F to repair. Just look at this mech. That's what I call good dwarf workmanship. A few dents, that's all. I'll fix them right away. Okay, is it done? No, it's not done yet. The mech is ready. Time to get in. Okay, so just control. Easy enough. So I wonder if we need to harvest some of this stuff. Pick up parts from the destroyed airship. Okay, at the very top it shows how much wood we have and things like that. Looks like there's some components just down here. Here we go. You'll need that lamp. Yeah, just to up the audio settings a little bit. Okay, there's that's probably the last I've thing. I salvaged what I could. We can look around. Some pieces might have landed elsewhere, but I think it's a good spot. Just smell the forest. Time to build a base. Okay, so we're not fixing that anytime soon. I wonder where is a good spot. Enter build mode. So I've seen in the videos you can mine like a... Looks like up there that white part in the mountain. That could be a mining area. Check out this archway. Ancient renewal point. After building a base in the colony on the island you can activate this point. Okay. So we're not going to build too far from that. So I think like uh, like up here, that, that dense wooded area, we can set up an automated uh, sawmill. And then there's some stone. It's probably like infinite. So we'll just start up over here. I think it's like a, a mana node. So press control, it says, and we'll just set down the main base. I'll try to keep things. Can I rotate it? Uh, 
It just says space bar. Let's gonna keep it like this. We are ready to start a new colony. Wood and stone. Or how they say it. Okay, so I press control again and... What does it say to do? Gather 120 woods. I've got to just go and do some mining. Now there's a crow and a dragon on me. We have some wood, now it's time for stone. Finally, wood dries or rots. And stone lasts for ages. You can build a shelter out of wood, but you cannot build a house without stone. I'll kind of clear this stuff up just so we can build some more things. Ravens can be sent to the northern clans to carry the good news. The new colony is ready for habitation. I hold shift, I think I'm running. I don't know. It just says find a quarry, so we'll go ahead and do that. So press control, can I, how do I choose? This looks like a good place to dig. Wait a moment, look at these scratches. Somebody has been here before us. A rock must have broken off, that's it. These are wild lands, we are the first to explore here. What's that sound? What is it? I think something that doesn't want to be our friend. Let's go find out. So, do I have... Here's some block. Okay, so shift is run. What was this thing? I have no idea. I was expecting wild animals, but this? I think it used to be a wild animal. What on earth happened to it? I'm not sure, but I think it was something even the songs are afraid to mention. Oh, so it appears to be like a combo system. Destroy the monster nest, we're doing that. They have to keep clicking though. Okay, so they're very top that no, like such things never appear one at a time. There's a bar it's just like above my guy. Spreading through the body. It's only the beginning. Well here we have a stone to smash. Cool. So as it's closing you've gotta click while it's in that little white bar, so it goes green. That's that's pretty interesting. Okay, find the quarry, we're gonna do that. Gather six stone. I was right there. Have you done enough digging? Yes, that's it. Now we can build a well on the mana spring. The colony buildings need mana just like my armor. Okay, I think this is a mana pool up here. So we'll press control and can we... So it's Q and E. So mana pipeline and this is the mana well. This looks like... Yep, yeah, should be it. I could dig stone all day, but I've sure had enough of cutting wood. It's high time to build a sawmill and power it up with a mana pipeline. Okay, so for here... Uh, that's the main base, that's a mana pipeline. Build a sawmill. Oh, tab, okay. So I think this will be a good location. And then we're going to have to power it up. So I'll press tab again and we'll get to the pipes, which are right here. Okay, I'll just start from over here. I might have to cut down those trees. Yeah, I think once I get rid of this, I'll build a pipeline through there. So I probably want to keep the base as compact as possible. So I think there's going to be uh, like waves of attacks that keep coming in. First, this, this is my very first impressions to the game, and I'm very impressed. 
We'll just cut down this last tree here. Okay, now we'll go to... we we'll get the pipelines right... I guess we'll just click on there. Okay. So... Okay, so we're gonna need like some nodes or something. There we go. Now we have to build a stone line in a quarry and connect it to the pipeline. You said you could dig stone all day. Work first, play later. I'm just gonna click it from, start from the building. Done. Okay, this is pretty cool. The sun is setting. Not good. We still haven't prepared for unwanted guests. Expecting someone? All the filthiest things in this world like to come out at night. I can breathe fire, but I'm afraid you won't make it. We could use some defensive turrets. Let's hurry up, my four. Defenseless true. Okay, so like the wood and stone is definitely uh, building up, so that's good. So I th place... Does it say uh, place basic defensive turrets and five defensive walls? I think the main thing is let's just clear some space. I definitely want to wall this off. Okay, so a tab, there's a defensive tab. Do we have any gates? So a balloon, to balloon tower is fired at nearby enemies. That sounds really good. Raven Watchtower sees danger from afar. That would be great. Uh, let's just throw it down. Oh, it's mana consumption. So defensive wall and a gate. So put down some defensive walls and see how this works. I'm going to have to clear out a couple of these trees, I think. Hopefully we got a ton of time. Okay, this is probably good enough. Go to control and... Hopefully that's going directly to the end. And then we're going to go to the gate here. Oh, come on. We have to do change that. Okay, so you just walk up and you press control and that's how you remove the building. So we got our gates there. It's starting to get dark. So I'm going to try and build... Maybe some balloon defenses. Fire net nearby enemies. Well, build that right there. See if we got to, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to connect it. So we'll go to settlement. Yeah. At least that one area down here, hopefully the door automatically closes. I'm gonna have to power that, that's the problem, okay? Okay, so that's not too bad, and... Let's see what else we have for defenses. Okay, defensive turret. I'm just gonna put one right there. I think I can. Uh, 
God, this area is not defended at all. We're gonna throw a, a turret over here. Oh, is that not within my range? Build a basic defensive turret. Why can't I build that? Oh, I just don't have the stone. I'm just gonna go and chop away at this stuff. I just need one more turret and then some more walls. Okay, so that's probably good for that. Yeah, I think we have like that initial border. So I'll put that right there and then the rest will just be some defenses. And I chopped away some of some of that. Press tab. And get to the just put the walls from back here. Oh that's out of our range, I guess. So we'll build from here. I guess I can just go like uh, two spaces there. And then maybe we'll do... I don't want to put a gate there yet. So we just need one balloon defensive turret and things... Run out of time here, I think. Oh, we just need three stone. Got one up there. I'll just put another over here. We should be safe now. Whatever comes close to this turret will regret it. And if the turret shoots at us? It won't. I will keep silent, but remember it's an anxious kind of silence. I'm just gonna clear out these trees for the building smell. the base up later. True, something really bad is going on here. I can see that. The monsters are coming out of this nest. It's not about the monsters. Something much worse. As if all magic in this place... We have to destroy the nest. Otherwise, the settlers don't stand a chance. Otherwise, nobody stands a chance. Okay, so here they come. It's gonna take a while to get used to this combat system. So I gotta wait a little bit. Okay, let's see what's going on down here. Well, I was hoping this would start off as closed. Yeah, I'll just close it manually. Hopefully it's an auto system. And just repair this stuff. So build three houses. Purge the island from monsters and then nest. Okay, so we'll just press control and we'll go to settlement. Residential houses for colonists. This will be interesting to see if we see them moving around. What would be a good spot for them? I definitely want to expand my borders somehow. I'll just place a few up over here. Or my low one. I'm gonna go and just get some stone, I guess. I keep getting, keep running out of that stuff. 
Yeah, so if you are enjoying the episode, hit that like button. Let me know what you think about the game. I think there's a lot of potential for this. I have no idea when it's coming out. I'm not sure if they actually gave a date for that. Okay, so we should have... Let's get one more stone block. Okay, so press control... Oh, oops. Now we just have to do attach. I wish this stuff was we just automatically attach. It's not too big of a deal, though. I hope they will have better lives here. No hunger, no deadly frost, no. Do you know how many have said this before? Generation after generation. It's good to finally understand them. Let's go. Okay, so just build a water well, and then we'll purge the island. Build that right there, I guess. Oh, that was the wrong thing. Here's the water well right there. Okay, we got that right there, and I'm just going to connect it. Dear host, when we asked you for something to drink, you gave us plain water, you twit. For that, we will go to your well and right there, without much ado, take a... Okay, so purge the island. I just have to look around. So that's the one I already destroyed. Okay, so there's something right here. It looks like there's a, a ship down there that's functional. So there's a dark stone. Can I pick that up? Okay, so you strike. Okay. We have survived. And the clan council wants to send settlers here? I'm a bit worried as well. But oh, who are we to criticize the verdicts of the noble council? They must have had their reasons. Well, they might have. And we have our tasks to dig a well to build houses for the settlers. We will get ripped apart by wild beasts. But at least we know where they are coming from, and we can destroy their nest. What's that? Dark stone. A concentration of dark magic. Maybe it would be better not to leave it here? You're right. I think that monster and stone are made from the same source. Okay, I didn't realize that was our ship. Because I, I saw the inflated uh, balloon thing, and I thought... Oh, that's a new ship. So I wonder if we can build islands or those little archways. Maybe we can, like, uh, transport through those things. So examine the mysterious ancient tower. I wonder where that is. Looks like we go up through here, perhaps. I'm almost certain that this is one of the ancient Escoim ports. These half buildings, half machines guided airships and served as a harbor. Doesn't look too damp. Look, Escoim ruins. 
They have stood here for thousands of years. Look here. This looks like some Eskoim. Blueprint of some kind of thrust engine. Think I know how to improve my armor using this technology so that it could jump much higher. Oh, we have nice. to go to the workshop to see if it works, or it will be a waste of resources. Okay, so anything else to explore here? So for combat, you click and then you 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 click ag left click again to do that little mini game. Go check out this. I figured the tower is further up. That was just the beginning. That's a tainted fox. Get some berries. Something's not right here. The tower is saturated with dark magic. This crystal is the source of it. Let's take it off. Yeah, that's a good idea. All the gearing looks good, but we need a navigation stone for the port to function correctly. Navigation stone. I read about it. Let's search the crash site. Perhaps the navigation stone is still there, buried among the rubble. But if we want to find the wheel, we have to look for it near the airship. Says Dwarves place? used such stones in their airships, haven't they? Yes. Ooh, that's why we are going to the crash site. So what color of the crystal is purple or something? We have to find a, uh, a blue one. So the crash site is just down there. Let's see if we can survive this. Well, I could see like upgrading the speed for the mech unit and all that stuff. It, like I said, higher jump, better armor. Uh, so that'd be a, a really fun Crash aspect of this game. Here. Navigation stone is not here. It must have fallen off somewhere else. We must find it. I have an idea where it might be. That's a job for her to go flap to. So which one was she looking at? Uh, over there? It says fly with Ragna tab to open circle menu. Oh, I see. Um... Is it middle mouse button plus? I don't understand what it's trying to tell me there. Oh, I, you just move your mouse. Okay. There we go. So hopefully she has a good amount of stamina to... Breathtaking. This view has no comparison to the closed spaces of the Great Dwarven Library. Okay, there's the blue crystal. And then she can fly back. Got so it. We'll pick that up. Now back to the Grumpy Dwarf. Well, there's some stuff down there potentially too. I'm not gonna do too much of a search. Yeah, I like this aspect of the game. It's pretty good. I mean, preferably I would just use her to go back to the tower. Okay, return to the mech, press control, and place the navigation of the blue navigation crystal into the port. So I'm gonna try and see if I can just use her again. Just holding shift now, it's pretty fast. And we'll just rest up for a little bit.
Hopefully she can do this stuff. Oh, we can, I think. Let me get the navigational stone. It fits. Did it do anything? Nothing. Just as I expected. Wait a minute. The Eskoim also used mana. Let's connect a pipe and see what happens. Oh, well, can she build? Uh, so control is scout. Okay, well, she's not going to be able to build, so I'm going to have to go down there and grab him. It's not a bad looking world, though. A lot of ancient ruins here. Okay, so I just got out of my mech suit to repair. So we'll hold control here and we'll go to the mana pool. It's the mana well. How do I clear this stuff out? Let the mana flow. There's light. What do you know? It worked. Well, and our first colony is ready. We can send a raven and wait for the colonists. Okay, send a raven. That's a building that I could produce. That was in their defenses. Defensive turret. Uh, raven watchtower. Uh, he wants me to go back down here. So let's go down this way. So I'm taking damage. It's that green bar down there. Okay, F to send the raven. Have a good trip. Yeah, so we, we built the I houses, but it. no one showed up yet. I hope he succeeds. He will succeed. I believe in him. The first okay, colony is finished, but this is just the beginning. Yeah, that'd be great if we can see them walking around and doing stuff. And hopefully they provide additional benefits. Oh, I have to go up here to meet them. Okay, this is this is pretty cool. The well can stand here until doomsday, but if you don't build a pipe connecting it to the base, it won't do us any good. No, I know, just a moment and it will be ready. So place the workshop at the base, find the right place. You can just go and talk to these guys. Now isn't this a nice place? Not sure how much content is in this game. If you want to see more, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button. So it wants me to place the workshop. That's probably for the new colonists. So settlements. It's gonna be a resource. Yeah, I've not seen it. They placed the workshop. Okay, you had to walk. R it tells you to come over to here. So you have to walk up and then press F to build the workshop. That was a little bit confusing. Confusing, at least to me. <laughs> Finally, a dwarf without a workshop is like a drunk without a cup. It's a nasty way of putting it, but you've got a point. Install the high jump technology. So we've got. So it's the arrows to select. So chimney, gears, 
Escoyam technology. We'll do that. Simple and brilliant. Why did none of us ever come up with this? Look, I can jump so high I could catch birds in flight. But how on earth could we find something like this in Escoyam ruins? I have no idea. Maybe the construction of the armor is based on Escoim ideas. Or maybe it's, something uh, really strange going on like this. Talk to the guild uh, chief. Oh, he's way right here. Hopefully they don't attack. Congratulate you on achieving your first task as first dwarf. I'm going to fulfill my duty to the end. True. While flying the ship, I sensed a foul scent from the nearby island. Perhaps this is a lead for preparing the next grounds for settlement. Thank you, Mother. Don't forget that convincing non-kin chiefs of other guilds will not be such an easy task. For the sake of our clan, I hope you succeed. I will succeed. Now, isn't this a nice place? Okay, so... Is that it? I didn't want to intrude on your warm family conversation, but your mother is right. There is a mysterious smell coming from that island. So I guess this is the island just over here. That's the one with the... Oh, we can actually jump over there? Oh, that's where we got the technology. There are steps, but I can't. Uh oh, you hold it. Okay, I didn't realize how that worked. Okay, I guess we'll just try to finish this off. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. It, it looks like you, I could aim on it and get onto those uh, steps there. Kind of floating around. I wonder if I. No, it's gonna be difficult. Okay, I think how it works is you just power it up, and then if you hold the space, you get like a little like a jetpack. So I'll try this again. And then I'm gonna hold it. Yeah, that's how you do it. And then I'm totally out of man. I've got to wait for that. Okay, so I got that figured. I'm just gonna power up here. Okay, good. The only problem is man uses up so much mana. I might be able to. No, I don't think I can jump that. It's got to keep waiting. I think it's like two more jumps up there. But I took the opportunity to get on my Mac and just do some repairs. Okay, we finally made it. It'd be great if we could get like a mana regenerator, like a uh, an upgrade for that as well. Wow, this is pretty huge. So look around from the high point. We'll do that. Oh, so that's it. I'm really impressed with this game. So yeah, you can go ahead and test this out. Uh, I'm just going to check quickly what the dates are. Okay, so the playtest ends April the 8th. There's not a huge amount of uh, content here though, but I'm definitely excited to try this game out in the future. Um, I wonder what it come out. Maybe like early access in six months, that's my guess. 
There's a lot of content already here. Uh, they have to work on some things with the combat. Combat's pretty interesting. And the graphics are just good enough. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and, and subscribe, please. And we'll see you on the next episode.